Hi guys, welcome back to the new James Bond show. I'm your host, Crazy Kijimi, with no fears, limits, or substitutes. The bad boy of James Bond is back, and I have a special show for you guys. Guys, do you ever get that feeling that you've discovered something that no one else, no one else has discovered? And it's something so important to you, like for example, you've just discovered well in advance, probably a year or at least nearly a year in advance, who is going to be the next James Bond. Because I guarantee you, I have discovered the next James Bond. There is no doubt in my mind, like I'm actually so freaking excited that... I am honestly going to tell you who's the next James Bond. Now, a friend of mine, T.A., we will call him T.A., Tony. We will call him T.A. Tony. Tony, who I've known for quite some time, he's a big James Bond fan. He brought an actor to my attention, so I give absolute credit to Tony. Now, of course, Tony's brought other actors to my attention. Other people have brought actors to my attention. I'm like, nah. No, are you serious? No, you can't be serious. He's not Bond. He's... Well, he brought this actor that I'm going to name in a moment. And he brought him to me. And he put a trailer or an interview. And he put probably about, I think, three photos of him. And I've just gone, like, what the... As soon as I saw him, as soon as I saw this actor, and there's one particular image that just blew my mind. And then the next image, I'm like... Oh my goodness. And then the next image, I'm like, no. The, 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 what is he? Is he a dwarf? Is he... What, what is he? There's got to be something wrong with this guy. He cannot... <clears throat> he cannot be this perfect. Well, this actor is unbelievable. Like, seriously. Now, I've gone since Tony sent me photos of him... I've gone and watched, and stay with me guys, stay with me. I've gone and watched interviews with him, trailers from his film, and I didn't even realise I've got one of his films here on DVD where he's a lead character in it, and I didn't even realise this guy, okay? The actor is, and he's in the thumbnail, is Sam Claflin. Sam George Claflin. He's 1.8 metres tall. He's 35 years of age. B birth date, 27th of June, 1986. So he's 35. He will be 36, a year younger than Daniel Craig, when he is cast as James Bond next year. Now, Barbara Broccoli, Debbie McWilliams, I'm sure they've already got a list of British actors. What we need to do, what E.ON need to do, MGM, E.ON, anyone involved, forget your damn search. Seriously. Save money, save time, save people's time, and just give Sam Claflin this role. This guy is James Bond. He is ridiculously good looking. He's so handsome. He's a good looking rooster. He's charming. He's funny. He's grounded. He was married. He did separate only after about four years of marriage. He does have two children, so he's grounded in that way. And he's been in big films and small films and lots of TV. Yet, no one really knows him. Maybe some little teen sweethearts know him from some of the films he started, which I'm going to go through in a moment. The rest of the world overall, they may be like, oh, is that the guy? Is that the guy? But he's not a star. And who is cast as James Bond needs to not be a star. They need to be able to become a star and have star quality. Like Sean Connery, even Lazenby. Now, Daniel Craig, no one saw, no one saw that coming. That was something that Barbara Broccoli saw, and credit to her. Right? And she saw Layer Cake and she's like, there's the man. I had seen, before Daniel Craig was even cast, I'd seen um, 
Munich, I'd seen um, not layer cake. I saw that after he was cast, and then I'm like, okay, maybe he could be Bond. But Rotobedition was one of my all-time favourite films, and I had seen that at the cinema several times. And so when I heard Daniel Craig was going to be the next Bond, I'm like, what? He's more like Red Grant. And... But it worked. And he built up, and he got muscular, and it worked. Sam Claflin is like a chameleon. He can change the hair and everything. Now, he's got a slight little bit of a red tip to him that can be dyed. He can also, in some of his films, he's just or interviews, he's got completely dark hair. Really, really dark hair. So it can change, that's fine. But this guy has an X factor about him. And I'll tell you what, he is a phenomenal actor. And Barbara Broccoli, Debbie McWilliams, if you don't have this guy in your top one <laughs> shortlist, do it. Everyone, look him up. I'm telling you, this is James Bond. This is the next James Bond. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's go through this. So once again, he's 35, he's 1.8 meters tall, so you're looking at about six foot there, which is a perfect height. He graduated from the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art in 2009. His first film role was as Philip Swift in Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Okay, so in 2011, and that was his first feature film. So. This guy started off pretty big with some pretty big films. That's obviously the faith that these studios and directors uh, have had in him. He played Finnick O'Dare in Hunger Games 2013 to 2015 because he was in the sequels of the Hunger Games as well. Uh, he was in the kind of like love story type film, which is really beautiful. I saw the trailer. I haven't seen the film, but the trailer, oh my goodness, I'm really teared up and just watching the trailer. It's called Me Before You, and that came out in 2016. And in Me Before You, um, I believe that's the one where he plays a, he, he's a paraplegic, and he can only move like his head and a thumb and a finger. And when you watch him in the trailer for Me Before You, you're like, oh my goodness, this guy has X Factor. And his performance is so natural. It's like someone's just filmed two people kind of talking and in love. He is brilliant. Like, I'm seriously, you guys can tell Crazy Kajibi is so pumped because I'm the first channel. This is, and I told Tony to keep this under his hat, to let's keep this a secret. This is, if he becomes James Bond, then you guys will know that this is a channel. I'm proud of it. The new James Bond show with Crazy Kajibi where we announced, or I announced who would be the next Bond. Because I'm telling you, if this guy's not Bond, it is nuts. Forget Idris Elba. Forget Tom Hardy. Forget that crap. Even Naomi Harris said, oh, Tom Hardy, she was being politically correct and nice to her buddy Tom, but, oh, he would make a great Bond. But you know what? I think the producers always go with someone who's kind of unknown, blah, blah, blah. It was a nice way of saying, Tom, you are not going to be James Bond. So forget those names. Forget Tom Hiddleston. Forget even even the guy I like, you know, Matthew Good. I'd love him to be Bond, but it's not going to happen. Forget Henry Cavill. Even Aidan Turner. Goodbye. Nicholas Hall. Sorry, mate. You've been outdone by this guy. Now, if Sam Claflin builds up to, you could just see him in the tux, Goldfinger Connery style. But he's got a real Dalton thing about him. A real... He's got this ethereal thing about him, and his eyes are absolutely piercing as well. Okay, so what else has he been in, guys? So, Me Before You and Adrift. Now, Adrift is the film I've got. That came out in 2018, and he's in that as well. And again, he's kind of a chameleon in it. He can kind of come in and out of any role. Uh, he's adaptable. He was in the film Love, Rosie. He was in 19... Nightingale that came out in 2018. He played Os Oswald Mosley in Peaky Blinders. So he's been in that very popular TV series, Peaky Blinders. He played Mycroft Holmes in Enola Holmes, 2020. Not sure if anyone saw that. And he played Captain... Now, this is the role that my friend Tony saw him in. As Captain Stanhope in Journey's End, which is a war film. And apparently he is 
His performance as Tony as Tommy is incredible as Captain Stanhope in Journey's End. He was also in the rebooted Charlie's Angels film as well. And another film that I had on, well, I had, used to have, I don't think I've got it anymore, Snow White and the Huntsman. He was also in that in a, uh, I think a bit of a smaller role, but he was in that as well. So guys, have a look at the images in the thumbnail. Go right ahead, look him up. I will also leave some trailers and interviews in the description section below. Barbara Broccoli, if you did not think of Sam, if you didn't think of Sammy Boy, Sam Claflin, if you didn't think of him, I, and you see this video, Babsy Wabsy, I want a ticket to the London Premier. And you know what? No, no, no. Even better. Even better. Come on, Babsy. I reckon you owe me here. If you get onto Sam Claflin because of this video, when he's in a tuxedo in Bond 26, you gotta send Crazy Kajibi. I love you, Babsy. You gotta send Crazy Kajibi the tuxedo he wears in Bond 26. I reckon that is a deal because I'm putting this out there. And I'm gonna put this out into, this is gonna reach into the James Bond community, just like when no one on planet Earth knew who Nicholas Holt was and I came out with that one and then ooh, the Bond channel started talking about Nicholas Holt. I guarantee you Sam Claflin now is going to be on the lips of every James Bond fan. This guy was born to play James Bond. He can act, he's fantastic looking, he can do the comedy, he's brilliant in interviews, he's a sweet guy, lovely bloke. He will be a great role model, and I'll tell you what, he could do the tough bastard stuff in Bond, he could do the humor, and he could do the romance. Make this guy James Bond. I'm telling you, he's James Bond, forget your search. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you think. Have a look at the trailers and the clips I put in there. Until next time, remember, Crazy Kajimi, with help from his buddy Tony, we have discovered the new James Bond. I'm telling you, just, just make it happen, babs. Till next time, guys, keep on bonding and say hi to your mum for me.